coming up in the media. Oh, it's shocking. Yeah, shocking. Isn't in excess in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? I said, well, I don't know, but the one person I know who knows the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, let me ask him. So why aren't they in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, in your mind? Well, just, you know, I am producer of the show. I'm not involved in the selection process of the nominated committee because I get to vote when it goes to the bigger vote. Um, so I'm never in those meetings. There's like 30 people, and you know a couple of those people, so you, I'll give you their names. You call them too. And you could find out, do they ever even come up? You know, because what happens is 30 people get together once a year, okay? Every or yep. managers, whatever. And everybody comes to the meeting with one or two names, and they pitch it to the room. And they have to, like, sell why they deserve to be in the Hall of Fame, and then they vote. And then in that room, they decide on the top 15 vote-getters, and then six or seven of those vote-getters get voted in. That's like Fraternity Rush. What's that? That's like Fraternity Rush. It's not Fraternity Rush. You're right. And then, uh, and then, of course, they have other special committees where, you know, early influence and executives and things like that, like out of the, you know, people that are not in the mainstream and stuff like that, but deserve to get in. Uh, I guess sometimes put in by these special committees, but a band like NXS, which has been eligible probably for a while, right? Yeah. The eligibility is 25 years after their first song. Sure. In the year that I've done the show, which is a lot, as you know. Yeah. I mean, I've never heard them even coming up in the meeting. Oh, it's shocking. Yeah, shocking. 